I'm excited about Angry Niece, by the way. Yeah, I've been I've been going uh been grinding. I'm probably gonna play some more today too, to be honest. I think you've seen focus. Yeah, I uh you've been in kinda in this middle ground, wondering what to do post boot camp it seems, and now you're like locked in on a plan and executing. It. Yeah, it's it's a lot of work, but um I think I you know, overall I'm just uh I'm just excited to have something to do. Yeah, because like content in general is getting sure. a little stale um, with oh, yeah. just, you know, just like autopilot posting coachings every single day. Has it, we we did it for like two over two years straight um, posting on two channels and just I had so much, like so many coachings. Um, it was like insane. Oh, yeah. So cool. Well, uh, that's go a good ahead. thing. I mean, with viewership down 30% or whatever it is, right. like coachings like the the safety net of safety nets you know? yeah there's coaching there's uh for us i mean yeah i have the the climb on korea like not many people in na are you know able yeah. to do what i'm doing and then i've been doing vod reviews of like high elo korea gameplays so like because i have access to the client i'm able to like load like high elo players on the client which nobody can really do right because mm -hmm. if you're in a yep. if you're in na you just can't do that uh, so it's just right. all, already it's making content very different from everybody else's, which is nice. So let me, what do you want to know? I guess so. We, you know, several coachings in. I, good news is I got out of bronze just to get heart stuck like silver four. Good. Uh, I do want to look at. I I'm glad. I'm glad that you're able to get out. That's good. And we'll look at some of the vods. Um, I assume you've played recently because the patches already yeah, happened. Yeah. Yep. Uh, once you get the screen share going, huh, once we get the screen share going, I will look through your um your vods and the see vod. yeah see what you're doing and what you're you know what you're running into. Um, okay. And then hopefully we can keep you keep you cruising. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and. Uh, We'll start with go ahead and just get into a game and let's see. Actually, actually, no, actually, no. I want to VOD review it first. I think it's better. Let's <clears> look <throat> at. I'm gonna look at the defeats. Uh, I'm gonna just yeah, scan go. all the defeats here and see w if if I think these are winnable games, right? Mm -hmm. And what we'll do mm -hmm. is uh, we'll look through those real 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 quick, and then after I look through those, we'll pop into a game. Which one is this? Is this the immediate last one? Yeah, this is the very first loss of the session that I can look at. Uh, it's you versus Maokai. Oh, the very first loss? Yes. That, and like the order of losses, like I'm just starting at the bottom and working my way up. Okay, so this isn't bad, but what I would be asking myself, let's take a peek here. This is looking more like a mana management issue than anything. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I wanted to back because he did his bush thing. Now I'm stuck in lane and I'm trying to push out again. Right, right. I'm, I'm... Go back to our mana usage. Yeah, that's the thing about Comet is I found it's just a mana hog even with... Manifold band. So here you got Manifold, Manifold Band. Yeah. I mean, you're hitting them too. I feel like I do a pretty good job of waiting until both are out. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking because I'm curious. I mean, <clears throat> so Maybe right, right here, there, go ignite and push a metal lane. I don't know. No, uh, everything you did here is actually good in my eyes. Um, my th this spot right here is the more concerning situation. So you've mm -hmm. got this wave that is kind of like your mana is so low. So it looks like just watching the VOD back, it looks like you've got about like four or five rounds of Comet. To get to get the crash in early or get the kill in All right so now we're starting to build up this whole identity right because when i just looked through this it looked like four or five of these mm. uh actually okay. it should be more than that because i this is this is how you really like build a strat up okay like you just fucking you you look at because now you're starting to do it correctly where you're um utilizing 
everything, right? Like you use it, it looks like you're using mana flow, right? Mm -hmm. So check it out. We're gonna start at 300 mana. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six. And now our mana is sus, right? Now our mana is sus. Mm -hmm. We've got enough for one more and a Q, probably. Get this wave under. So what I would probably do then is right about here when we're about to level up. I mean, level up will give you more mana too. But mm -hmm. I would just focus on getting the wave in from hell or high water and making sure it crashes and then getting your reset. So watch, watch what happens here. Now that I look at this. You would do this weird cage, right? Mm -hmm. This is where this is where it falls apart. You do this strange cage that doesn't really do anything. I would rather you just E him in the face, bonk him and get it under tower and then walk it out. <clears throat> okay. Right? So um, um, under six really manage the, the mana. Well, it's because, I mean, at this point, you know, lethal mm -hmm. on this particular champion is looking pretty unlikely. Um, Mainly because, you know, it's Maokai. But as, as far as, like, safer champions, Eric, yeah. he's he's pretty safe overall. He's mm -hmm. pretty safe. Um, the other thing that I am wondering about as I sit here is I'm wondering if in this particular lane, if Conqueror and Presence of Mind might be better even. Um, mm -hmm. Or, like... Uh, Conqueror and like Corrupting Pot is better here versus yeah. him because you're facing a tank who's obviously got a lot of sustain um, and then you're going to be facing a Warwick so when these guys fight you you're going to be kind of in it right remember that mm -hmm. as we're building out our play style like Comet was the go-to because it, it turns the Yorick into more of a bully we can clearly yeah. see here that like this whole like just poke him out of lane on the first push is just not going to work you hit every single one right like we hit every single E here, and he's pretty healthy. Like, he's he's even running a pot right now. Look at that. Yeah. And he even did it wrong. He's got bone plating. He should have second wind. Um, he mm -hmm. has bone plating, and he doesn't even have revitalize. So what this can tell you right off the jump, and he's going, like, no biscuits either. Like, boots and biscuits common as well. Um, so what this tells you is that even if I hit every fucking E, which you did... Mm -hmm. Pretty good chance this guy. Case. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It pretty pretty uh pretty tough to kill this guy, right? The, yeah, a lot of conditionals yeah. have to be met. I'd have to hit every E. I'd have to not get ganked. I would have to uh catch him like in a cage with like a full ghoul army and then ignite him, right? At least with comet. So I would immediately mm. just say, okay, we can't go comet into this guy anymore. It's not really even giving us that much value. Yeah, what you did tell me, to be fair, I mean, you said if you get a tanky right. lane opponent, go conquer right. with Presence of Mind. But I noticed this morning, it auto-switched Presence of Mind to Triumph, I think. Yeah, sometimes it will. Uh, it just depends on, you just have to make sure it doesn't do some, it's Riot Games, dude. They're the worst client in the world. Yeah. Best game in the world, worst That's client in the, the world. update? Yeah, I don't fucking know. They just they're garbage. No, shit. like in-game, once the game loaded, it gave me an automated prompt that says, your presence of mine was switched to triumph and i'm like wtf <laughs> okay yeah. why would it be switched i don't know if that was the update i don't know never mind there must be a bug because if that happened that's a bug because there's no reason that presence of mine would ever be bad on on your it sounds like one of those things it does where it's like i think uh, that was my my one trend game today but... oh oh because it's trendomir that's why well because it's presence of mind is mana oh that makes sense I'm right it's, yeah. it's yeah no no you're good you're not an idiot i'm dude i've made dumbass mistakes all the time with like runes <laughs> and shit it, it is a goofy mistake but it's like it totally scans right presence of mind okay. basically what it is is it restores mana so you're like right. the That's, idea which is why we wanted it on conquer yeah so yeah when you go when you when you're looking at this lane you clearly don't need triumph that bad because triumph's more of the like oh i get the kill i get the heal right after the kill mm -hmm. real in reality you need enough mana to harass this guy down, right? I mean, you could you could just go no uh, presence, 
and just go triumph and then you just be very very smart about your ease and just basically see okay now you're starting to build an identity right so we could go into a lane yep, and yep. just go ooga booga booga i'm gonna eat every single fucking time it's up and with the with the mana flow with the comet right yeah that's kind of what i'm doing yeah yeah which is great because now you're like you said you're building muscle memory you look like mm -hmm. you're you know everything here i can't even bitch i can't even bitch about the usage of ease or anything you're hitting them right you you've, you've got the muscle memory there you understand what you're looking for what yep. with with we have two options if we go conqueror we could instead just drag the lane. We could just pull the wave back to us, not really use our ease much, right? Build a big wave, have our mana pool be pretty high anyways, right? Just use our Q to farm and whatever. Let let Maokai mm -hmm. be really, really healthy because he can't do anything anyways when he's healthy. It doesn't matter. Build the wave up, right? Keep our mana high. Slow push out now with a huge wave and then you have enough mana. If you land it with Conqueror, like the full combo with Cage and everything, you land it with Conqueror. It doesn't matter if he was poked down or not. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's <clears throat> that's the adjustment now that we need to make. And that's why this lane looks a little goofy here. There, the the mm -hmm. identity isn't clear, right? We, we like push in, we run ourselves out of mana, we get stuck in front of tower. This isn't really where we want to be, right? That means that something's broken in our strat. Like we did not plan right. We didn't do something right. And to me, it just looks like you used the goofy cage when you were going to get the wave under, but it's still not even, mm -hmm. this whole thing doesn't even really look that good. It looks optimal, like, or I'm not, not optimal. It looks like, uh, it looks suboptimal like okay cool mm -hmm. we you know we got him low but like look at our mana i think he can yeah, survive he... i think he could survive often enough if this is the best we do hitting everything that's probably not it right that's probably not the mm -hmm. best i uh, best approach and then obviously it's 348 like we could have already been ganked here with no mana and then oh, he yeah. w's to us oh. and then flips us oh. to the jungler then we're dead anyways what were we gonna say yeah well that's what happened well, and that, well what i'm saying is is even if i just want you to be clear though that's irrelevant like getting stuck here is obviously a problem but i'm saying that you're right now let me back up hey, you're telling me how to think about this scenario I guess. right like here you're stuck right you have enough mana to be unstuck but even okay. if if the gank was coming right now at this moment which it very well could because it's 344 yeah. right hell it could have come even sooner really um yeah, no, this is just not point. we're just a sitting though like we almost never get out if they lock us down <clears throat> i'm just thinking scenarios like uh like a kindred or something comes right from here it just autos us all the way back or like a well maybe not a graves uh, maybe a graves right like certain champions just come out of the jungle here uh like a trundle and they just beat on us and we have no flash and we don't have enough mana to really do anything so we just die that is what scares me here because obviously okay. yeah the gank does come but like it's very late like it's just stuff to think about so like you said i want you to think about these choices because league is a is a long-term game it's not a single you know this is just an example of like something we figured out today like we figured out all right he hits everything maokai like i mean i did this on my climb where it was like uh i was playing into or i was doing a vod review and i was watching the guy play against rumble right because I do that VOD yep. review, I see exactly where the guy fucks up. I go, okay, versus Rumble, you cannot fight at level three, level four. You cannot. You just lose. Right? You just hard fucking lose. So these are the types of notes you take. You say versus Maokai. I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna go common here. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh conquer. conquer. I'm gonna probably pull the wave back, keep my mana high, do a big hard push, deliberate, try to cage him with a big push. That way, if I, uh, you know, if I get ganked, I'm not in this position where I'm stuck. And then this poke yeah. isn't, you know, meaningless. Gotcha. Okay. Good. Because look at it. Look at his health. That's with every single fucking... Yep. He's still almost half health. And we have to leave. <laughs> and yeah, that's another yep. thing. Obviously, the E stops our back, which sucks. Be careful with that. Mm -hmm. He can do that very easily. All right. So we're going to build our wave up, I hope. Mm -hmm. been pretty religious about I either I, I try to freeze but then if it's if you know if I can't hold it I'll let it bounce but yeah I think I did a pretty good job at holding 
Maybe build stacking away. Trying to be a little more aggressive here. Right, right? yeah, yeah. Still doesn't work, he's thick as hell. Yeah, this is... I'm holding my R because I'm wanting it to come to me and then push on him with R and then I get an opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's literally just conquer a gap, I think. It's how it looks. <clears throat> and you dodge the Zed Roam, too. Like, is it? Yeah, I mean, this honestly doesn't even look that bad. It, it just, it really does feel more to me like... I think this is an FF. This is a 20-minute game. Somebody just dc or something. Yeah, I think we could have busted open this lane, though. Often enough to where it wouldn't have mattered. If we had conquerors. Right, yeah. You got him. You almost kill him there. It's just, yeah, comment. The thing about Maokai that you need to remember in particular is that Maokai, uh, yes, like you're doing magic health damage or like a current health magic damage, but Maokai, his passive is really fucking good into this type of shit. Um, okay. Because the interactions are so... Essentially, he kind of no. counters this strat. So the interactions are so rare because you're just eing and your cooldown's so fucking long, right? It, the interaction's it, so rare. Here, when he uses uh, when he uses an ability, he has this like uh, cooldown refunded, right? Slowly, so like basically, oh, he's getting health back. Right, so you throw you know you throw an E every ten seconds. He throws a couple Qs, maybe an E of his own, right? Well, his his Dude. cooldown is about the same as yours. Yeah, I I mean I can count on one hand how many times I've seen Maokai and pop and in this yeah year. yeah it's well he's it's a it's he's weird. a funny he's a funny champion because he I know you've been running him but yeah he's jungle. he well he's good top too and the thing was is years ago about four three or four years ago five years ago when I was playing him in in uh, high elo the thing that would show up with Maokai all the time is like he he, he was like pro play like band top so he's a very uh -huh. very good top and the reason why he's good is because he scales like a monster as a tank which all most all tanks do Orin does Malphite does Malkai does you know they all scale really really well as tanks right but the other thing is that his weak side so weak side is when like uh you know if the jungler's like trying to dive you and you're you know at, basically your jungler's playing bottom and you're playing in and their jungler's playing top in high elo mm -hmm. if you get low junglers will try to dive you so like for example when you put oh, yeah. the maokai really low there's a chance that like in high elo there's like an elise or something they'll try to dive this guy for you when you set him up like this when you get him yeah. like that low the thing is though maokai's w oh, makes him you. you've seen me play yeah. him it's super bait yeah. right because if he goes untargetable and then he heals and then he cues like so yeah, he goes untargetable true. heals the cues and knocks back right he's very very good at not dying under tower like very like scary good right it's a tank fizz under tower yeah oh, you good, think of yeah. it like that good, good analogy yeah. right so it's very tough to kill him so if you're uh you know if you're facing this type of lane, like, don't get... Just the, the takeaway here is that's why you need Conqueror. Because every time you poke, it's not really going to matter that much. But if you land a big, dramatic all-in... The only mm. the only thing you would have had to have done here is, like, go Conk, build a big wave like you did in the second sequence here. We'll go to the next replay after I'll show you this. But basically, what you're looking for is there's a sequence on the second uh, wave or, or after you died where you were pushing out and you almost kill him. I'll show you real fast. Right here. You build the wave. Look at this. You get, you commit to the all-in. You ignite him. You do a really good job. Like, this is a good battle. But you see, Thank right you. there, with Conqueror, it's it's a win. That's so all I'm trying it, to say. That's good. Hey, that's great news. If, that, if we're down to that variable, that's good news. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it is. It's a uh, strategy. It's just strategy there. I would I would probably explore Conqueror presence of mind, keeping my trades uh more and more like on the line of like, do I have a big wave here? Because poking him is almost like you could poke occasionally, I guess, but like it seems to me like poking some waste of mana. <laughs> if I'm being honest, like it just looking it back over. In none of our sessions do we look at mid and late game. Why is that? These I I will I will look at them when you're like crushing lane. Okay. 
because because when you really drill down into vod reviews like if you're coming out of lanes versus these players like once we get to like maybe like plat and i'm seeing players like more reliably unkillable in lane like this guy was definitely be the the maokai is definitely just like i said it, you say the guy like leaves or something and it's like a 4v5 yeah i agree with that that's one thing but the other thing is that like probably could have just snowballed in one yeah yeah with better decision making right that's, that's why I, that's yeah. why i don't that's all, care that's the only thing i can control i can't control the matchmaking right i mean i will speed. look i will look at mid and late if uh if because before i have when you're like crushing lane and we get ahead i absolutely okay. but it's when okay. it's when we get hung up on lane where i'm just kind of like eh if we fix lane this it's a totally different game it's not worth banging our head against the wall of like well now we're coin flipping right like yeah, the value of it weighted so heavily towards lane it doesn't really matter to look right at if as long as as long as trail. you're in a situation because laning is the thing that we can fix and we can see immediate result yeah right and so here let's I look at your i hope you you do go bone plating you went comet comet versus conqueror probably okay i don't because if he gets hit by a bad think, one, it's I gonna hurt. I, if I remember, I think uh, I think I dominate him, or, or at least go even. I don't think I lose this at all. I'm never using Cage unless I see him spin. Okay. Yep. See this? Well, I'm, I'm trying to bait his spin and then go on him with E. Yeah, but it won't. Thinking. It won't. He has too much sustain. Okay. This is similar to the Maokai in that, like, we're in a mana crisis, right? Oh, yeah, nice. it always is. Before my first back? Yeah. You just it's have to be smarter about face. recognizing when laners have too much sustain for it to work. Because now, yeah. Trindomir is very similar, right? Where it's like, you're throwing abilities mm -hmm. at him, but it's almost useless. Right? It's low yeah. value. So my trend has been just you know take what is it four to six waves yeah before my first back get it under tower and back if i can get that successful then i feel in control of the lane right it looks, like it. it looks like it looks like flip, flip it so now i'm freezing yeah you're building a wave this is all good building. i would not cage him Hit. yeah you build the ult so that you can actually guard your wave which is good Graves comes here. I think. Do I kill Graves here? No. All right, let's oh. talk through this. Yeah. Okay. Didn't dominate. <laughs> Strike all the all the previous tape. <laughs> Get rid of it. Let's back up here. So you go. YouTube, you didn't hear anything. Yeah, you go and you miss E, which is tragic, but that's whatever. Now, <clears throat> my question is, what do you think you're going to achieve here? Like, let's, well, let's I'm, conceptualize. Well, I'm telling you, like, I, the, the nice direction is you, you did a good job building the wave. Now, let's see if we can bully him a little bit. Right. So let's this. talk through. Yeah. Let's talk through little details. In terms now. of achievement, it's just the learning of it. That's all. Be a little, be well, okay to risk it. Well, what I'm trying to say is that, like, when this is going under tower, what is our ideal mm -hmm. scenario, do you think? I think I get a plate and back. I mean, plate maybe. and back sounds He's good. Too healthy. Yeah, plate yeah. and back sounds pretty good. I would be interested. So you're going to walk the wave under, and you're going to throw your E at him. Okay, you hit the E. Now you immediately yeah. run to the fucking hills here. Okay. What, what I'm trying to do is manage the minion. Yes, often, pull the maiden off. Can't... I can't dive because I'll aggro immediately because little ghouls. And so I get Maiden off and then I come back. So here's the problem that, that I'm seeing right now. Um, is that like, you're about to go for this now, kind of loopy, loopy dive. But the thing is, is the dive is very, it's not going to work. Okay. Right. This is one of those scenarios where it's like, this is the pirates. This is the pirates code, right? I gave you a set of guidelines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what that means. I right. use that in my, my coaching meetings. 
Right. So you've got it's more you, of a guideline. <laughs> right. You've got you've got the idea correct of like, okay, there's a big wave. I need to do something with it. But the problem is this particular instance, it would make more sense to me to just bone plate or uh, demolish a tower. So let's back up. Yeah. So you can I see what I'm thinking. Plate of him and then, yeah. Let's imagine a world where instead of what you decide to do, let's imagine a world where the wave goes under. Ready? And the wave goes under. Mm -hmm. And you just take a plate. Let him auto you. Like, w let the wave go under. Let him, uh, like, go, go and smack the tower once. Yep. If he autos you, run away through the minions, E him, and then he'll probably have to use ult, especially if you, like, E and ignite him. The wave is so big that you would actually do more damage if he just autos you and the minions are near you. Does this Got all it. make sense? Is this all, like, an aha? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's it gonna should aggro be. him. He'll take more damage before I do. Right. Yeah, I got you. Because yeah, if I you get the open, plate, if and you... I might have le lethal chance. Right. On it. Instead, yes. What I do yes. Is I go out for the kill, and maybe coin top, coin flip the the lethal and omit the tower. It's just I'm picking the lesser value. Right. Option. Because if all right, so if Graves is down bottom and you had seen this, then flinging your E on his head and like getting his ult or whatever and trying to outplay him under tower is fine. I mean, it's a bit of an int what you go for, but like here, like this is okay. Well, here, here's, here's, let me, let me add this one piece. So the reason I'm flinging the E on him is because if I do go at tower with three little ghouls up, he aggro, he hits me, aggros me, the ghouls hit him. I'm going to get aggro before, you know what I mean? Oh. I have to get rid of the little ghouls before I can go under tower. Otherwise, they'll as soon as he hits me, they hit him and I aggro. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about this order. So you get yeah, rid yeah. of the so ghouls. I'm trying to trying yeah. to get rid of the little guys. Now that they're gone, I can go under. But instead of going for the tower, which you're right, I should have. Just yeah, that's he a spins. He spins, and so now you can just like auto queue. Yeah, you could just mm -hmm. auto queue. But this. I could have just hit the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, but I yeah, don't think at this because moment he's a, it makes sense. Yeah, he's he's essentially a minion right now, and he can't yeah. do shit, right? So if you right. hit the tower, even if the graves gank shows up, I'm not convinced that you die. But it's when you deal. trade all of your health for this like very thin dive, it's a very thin dive because he's just gonna ult. He's always just gonna ult. Trinomir is very I'll safe. Five five minions left. Yeah. Yeah, Trinomir is very safe. So I think I would yeah. just walk under tower, auto queue. And then Take uh the play and good. if the gank comes we're we're happy if he if he ganks us i mean trinomir is a little mm -hmm. scary but as long as you're kiting and like throw your cage down he's gonna have to just like he, he can't just auto us for free like he's gonna be stuck in the cage he's gonna have to spin on to us he has no flash he has no ignite he's not very scary here right mm -hmm. um yeah so i yeah. see that now i my takeaway from this is pick the larger value first of the safe plate over the thin dive yeah you're you're in a very good spot though like this is very good um, and he has ult i mean the trend right you could but the but the good way to view this is like when you have a trinomir like this think about it think about it in terms of like if i'm winning plates and not dying that's fine too um if there's certain mm -hmm. champions where like trinomir is a counter to you like he can go on to you if he has like Basically, if he has like his item, if he gets to his items later, he could just run at you and you lose even with Maiden, right? Um, I, mean, I think the game after this, I play Trend into a York and I, I own him. Right. So you're in a good spot. Like if you get this guy low under tower and are able to take plates and get away from him, you're crushing, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. But just make sure you don't make sure he doesn't have like full fury and like, or, but like here he has no fury. So he's very weak. And so you can no just spin. take this. Yep. Yeah, I would just auto key yep. this and walk away, and then take a reset or something, because you know he's gonna See, that's sustain that up little, a push. Yeah, that's the little nugget that right there. Hit the plate and then make your options. But well, yeah, I got you. and I have to learn this too sometimes, like um, because I do because I play Tritomir mid, and I put people in this position often in mid where mm -hmm. they're very low, and like they're good enough, like they're playing like LeBlanc or Zed or like all these like fancy mm -hmm. pants champs, where if I dive them <laughs> or even like Cassidy, like. 
Kassadin is yeah. easy to kill in theory until you face a good one and he just hugs this wall. And if you go to dive him, he always R's over this wall. Yeah. Or he stands here, he R's over this wall. Right? So like, there's... You have to understand that your opponents, you give them credit. Here, I mean, yes, the obvious, like, he has R. I'm gonna just int this, like, if I try to R, but... Or try to fight through R, but the thing is, is that, like, you feel so confident because you're like, he's low. Well, you need to ask yourself, like, is him being low even a threat to him yet? Mm -hmm. Right? If he plays this right, what does that look like? So you, you should know, be it saying... Like what happened. Yeah, it's yeah, like, if he that. R's on time... And I don't like do it if I don't get his R discreetly, where it's just like I take it and I get out, then this is gonna be messy. I don't I'm in control. I'm miles ahead. So it's fine to just stay miles ahead, even if it's not killing him. Because it just mm -hmm. means that you get to farm with impunity. I mean, think of it like this. If it's a scary lane that he can kill you in otherwise, we're fine to be in this position too. I'm with you. Yep. Right, so like same thing here, and and with the mid the the Trinomir versus like Cassid, and like if there's a Cassid in here, and I'm just taking plates over and over again versus the guy, but he's unable to even get the minions safely anymore. Mm -hmm. That's good too, right? And in this case, mm -hmm. yeah, he's getting some farm, but it's you know it's Trinomir. He's he's got Vamp Scepter. He's he's got Fleet. He's playing like a mega pussy. Like he's never gonna like he's never gonna kill you anytime soon. Hell, I don't even know if he kills you as long as you get to Hallbreaker. It would be very hard for him to kill you with the way that he's decided to rune here, right? He decided to go Fleet. He decided he he goes no Ignite, which really sucks for Shiork. Really sucks. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he so, doesn't snowball on me. That's I know that. Yeah, so that's good, right? So we're we're yeah. happy here. Recognize when you're in a happy place and just be good with that because then if the gank comes and you had kept yourself alive, you could have very easily just he can't leave the tower. That's a good way to think about it. He just can't even come mm -hmm. off a tower right now, um, and that's yeah. good for us. Oh, there was one. I stack. I'm so proud. Like I I stacked the wave. He was low because I did my job while he was pushing into me. And so he couldn't come on me, but the gank came, and I, I killed the gank because he's standing in the middle of my wave. Yeah. I I was right. Like, yeah, these would be so proud. I didn't write it down. But... That That's the type of stuff where... That's so, the type of stuff where it's clicking. I'm going, holy shit, I, I might actually get out of silver one day. Right. Yeah, and it's without, like, crazy mechanics, right? It's just like... Yeah, oh, man. There's... I love this because this is the easiest review ever. So the easy way to counter this, you, uh -huh. every time you face Singed, this is the easiest VOD ever. Anytime you face Singed, stand, stand here with the wave and walk with them. Oh, okay. All right. I, I own him 0-4, I think, or 0-5. Yeah, the thing is, is he thing. gets to do this, uh, this non-interaction shit, which you hate. This is never good for you if he's not interacting with us. If he's not interacting with us, it's really bad news. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you give... I mean, sometimes it's inevitable that he's going to get around you. But, like, here, he well, can't. Yeah, well, I, what I find is at least, like, oh, after level 4, and I can get pretty good at spawning ghouls, it's, it doesn't really matter. He can't really affect me with, with the proxy. All right, well, you hard, trolled it. You're, you hard trolled your open anyways. In this game yeah, sure missing yeah. missing uh a full level of xp is bad really bad <laughs> so this is an easy fix and so anytime you face singe you remind out, yourself walk out with hold the minions. the minions hands is what i tell people you got it because yes, he's gonna do some proxy shit you walk at him and all you do so if you go back so here's how it'll play if you do it right just so you if you run into the situation again okay so yep. here's singed he's gonna go he's just gonna hide so that you just hide on this wall right and then yep. as soon as the minions spawn so where you stand as you just go right uh you see my mouse right yes right there okay so he's gonna see the minion and he's gonna think oh i'm good and then you're gonna be right behind him yep. so then if he goes into the wave you just e him and just like bonk him on the head without chasing him he cannot stand there he has to leave. And our goal is just to let the minions walk down lane, right? Yeah, he can't. I mean, idiots in low elo might actually try to proxy anyways with you standing there. But what, okay. it, how it's supposed to go is you hold the minion's hand. He comes at you. Mm -hmm. And then you auto him, you EM, 
he tanks the minions. He can't get, he can't safely do his little proxy thing because he runs the risk of dying. So he has to go around, mm -hmm. hit the plant. He has to walk all the way to the wave. Gotcha. So he's just testing to see whether or not you know this. Uh, I mean, he doesn't know. He probably doesn't know the answer, but he's testing oh, he to see terrible. whether or not. Yes. You picked a very wrong thing in this game, though, because it would have been better at this point if you just stay at tower. Okay. Let it happen right. at that point, because it's already happened and, and it's whatever. This really yeah. fucks your agency up. I, I don't know what happens after the fact, but even if you owned him, as you say, right? Mm. This is just it, it's an unacceptable open. Okay. It's the equivalent of okay. like a jungler resetting his camp. Bad. I hear you. Wow. Okay. Um, that's what I would say about that. So that's an easy like just Okay. Thank you. Um and uh, let's see. So there's no VODs in here that I've seen so far that are just like unwinnable, in my opinion. Right? Like every mm. single one of these games so far was just different voices. Oh, this, by the way, this is another conqueror uh, angle. Um, I actually don't okay. know about a sustain. You might be able to kill him with common anyways. But I played against this guy. He's fucking I useless. Do. Just just go useless. just go conqueror. He's useless right now. But even when he gets buffed, conqueror is going to be better, I think. Um, but I can't imagine that he's ever going to play well into York now that... Because none of his kit seems to do anything versus you. Wow, what a cheese. Mm -hmm. That helped. So you decide to slow push a big wave in. Nice. That was good. That's what I would have done. And now you're going to hard shove, I hope? Not really. Okay, so, but what would be better in this spot? You kind of did this right. You almost did it right. <laughs> okay, good. So, almost you build the wave. Almost. Well, you recognize that, like, it, nothing makes sense here, right? I can't push the wave in fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But once the next wave arrives, just start autoing the whole time right here. Bang, Watch. bang, bang. Yeah. See how you're chilling? Yeah. Get it under right now, and you won't have to use TP. You could just base and walk back, and you don't have to even TP. You could just walk. Gotcha. When you when you do this, remember that our best lethal comes from when we have the wave at our back, right? You didn't get reasonable value here, uh, even though you you stayed out. I've been there with. I think didn't I take uh, second win here? Oh, you got out. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> in my eyes, in my eyes, I feel like I would have backed somewhere. You know, you could argue, I bet I could get a lot of Yorick one-trick ponies in here that would argue that you staying out is fine in the beginning. Because, you know, you have you have plenty of health. You're not very, uh, like, back here, I mean. Like, you're not really low enough. Like, he's behind. The Cassante is behind. Um... You're not really low enough to where it's damaging. You have two pots. Like, I think a lot of yeah. York players would be like, oh, that's fine. That's why I stopped my back. Yeah, I stopped like, my oh, back because I remember you saying, well, look at your resources, you're fine, go another, you know? Right, and right. it wasn't a cannon away. I think I, I was having, I'm two waves away from another cannon wave, is my thinking. Right, I would, like, I, I think this is okay. Um, so you go, you harass him. One thing, though, is don't lose your XP. Like hover, like hover up there, get your XP. I'm real big, like you'll see me do this a lot lately with Fiora. I push waves in and you'll see me hover like right here, right here. Make sure that I get the XP before I leave. Like if I can't get it, you'll see me do this a lot. Get your XP. Got it. You've got to get it. Okay. Like you, I understand you can't go under tower there, but like you're just out, you're just you shy of getting free XP. Like this all looks good. Like you're getting XP, you're safe, you're, you're posturing like, Gank is thinking now backing here is okay. You've got enough for what is this? Is this almost a dirk? How much is dirk? 400 a psych. Yeah, just a little slightly better on the farming. You have dirk right here, too. It should be That's nuts. Nah, no, you went long, sir. Okay, so it's actually That's I think you I do. have it then. When you die. No, no, so Sorry. dirk's 1100 total, so it's 750. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was 750. So you're gonna get it after this if you survive, anyways. You do, and that's good. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure you use it before you lose any XP if you can. 
Watch, watch right here. You might have got it yeah, in time, I, actually. It's very close. I got it. Yeah, I, I, That's I very, timed it. That's very close. So now you build your wave. Here we go. How did we lose this game now? Guys, easy mode. Easy clap. Here, we're building our, we're building our ghoulies. Well, the little me the ghouls die so I can maybe right. start pressing up the wave. Get him, EM, ignite him, I think. Do I get him? You push him out. It doesn't matter though. Yeah, this is good. This is fine. Then you shove the wave and reset. Reset's good. He can't push that fast. Now you build the wave again. I'm thinking about do I join the fight? Oh yeah. Do I get trolled here? Yeah, I get trolled here. So they just, just don't totally know why we're. Off. I don't know why we're doing this. Yeah, I should have backed out of lane, or gone back to lane. Excuse me. I I just I'm never moving. You're you're in an elo where you don't have to do this. This isn't this isn't Korea elo. <laughs> you don't have to do well, this. Here here I don't know how to evaluate this decision. So okay, let's go. Let's go then. Game. Yeah, let's go back. All right, so let's talk about this. So first off. You just got two plates, okay? You're crushing this guy. You've kicked him out of lane. He's died once, okay? That's how I'm thinking. You've kicked him out. He's died once. You've got the big push building again, right? And you have Maiden. In my head, you're going to get more... You're basically going to get towards level 8. And you're going to take two plates again, regardless of what happens over here. Right. Right? You're going to get, like, one, two waves. You're level 8. I believe it's two. So there's one coming and then one more after that. So you would get this to, under tower and you would take a plate and then you would get the cannon wave. And now you're level eight again. Instead, instead you're grouping and just flipping. This is a flip as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, See how you play it mechanically too. I mean, your champion is really fucking strong in waves. So pulling off waves to chase shit is not what I'm interested in. If I give it, if given the choice. Now, let's see. Yasuo. What happens versus Yasuo? I go on to save the Nautilus and then they collapse. Yeah, you just get pee, pee slapped because your champion is fucking useless outside of a wave. But if you had just stayed here, you're you're guaranteed. You 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 got a free ride to your item right now. That's what I, that's why I'm getting anxiety watching this. Because you got a free ride to your item right here. And you're choosing instead to chase around, you know, a fight that like, it, it's just not, it's not a good person to fuck with right now. Cause he's all, he's already snowballing too. He's doing well too. Right. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to fuck with him right now because you, you want to fuck with him on your terms. What are, what are our terms? What are our terms? Like what's, what's our conditions for beating this Yasuo 1v1 do you think? Uh beating him 1v1 yeah like if, what it, what would have to happen for us to beat this yasuo when well, you're never gonna you're never gonna beat I'd him have out to the be river. in a wave I'd have right to have everything in yeah you have I mean, to have maiden you have to have a huge wave stack and you have to be pushing towers here's the thing with yasuo yeah here's the thing with yasuo he can't do shit to you as long as you have a giant wave he can freak yeah. out and e and do whatever the, but as long as you ignite him and you have a big wave he's gonna That's lose true, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna lose. Okay. He can do all he can do all the shit that he wants. As long as you're hitting your item spikes and you've got your wave. This is not where you win. This is like bumping into Trindam. You you're facing two champions that cannot wait for you to be by yourself. Yep. Ayana Yasuo. And, they got, and I gave it to him. Yep. Right. Because when you rotated down, you gave away a free ride to your item spike. You're guaranteed to get to your item spike right which now is, versus your lane. Which is that decision could have been the the, the deciding factor to help me snowball the game. Right. You absolutely would be in a power position going into mid game. Now, don't get me wrong. If we get through this, yeah. Yeah. we might still be looking at a very hard game. But the way yeah, I'm yeah, seeing it hard, is yeah. I'm imagining an alternate world, right? Of all the VODs you've shown me, this one's the one that you're probably going to need to snowball. And But you had it. Had right? It. Yep. Okay. Like you have this. And, and then. I, well, the problem is I didn't know I had it. And that's what I'm listening right because you take yeah. you take the two plates back now you shove again you take tower take rift if you're allowed to do it. if they go to bottom you're allowed to take rift you take rift and now we're in the driver's seat and now we've got some more complex decisions that go over in a vod great okay we're close then yes all we're of these vods closer. every single vod so far 
None of these have been like, uh, oh, you got unlucky. And I would tell you, you know, I would tell you if I thought your team was bullshit and you were doing everything right. All right, last one, then we'll do a game. I'm gonna skim this one quick because we're getting short on time. But these are that. But you could see we've looked, we picked up a lot of little things that you could start modifying. Okay. You have a hard stop after this. Uh, what do you mean? So you, you got a next thing backed up, another client. Or something? Um, I'm probably gonna probably gonna eat and then or run and then eat and then game. Oh probably right, climb. right, yeah, it's the morning. I'm, okay. I'm Korea climbing. I mean, too. I'm happy to keep paying and keep going, but you know, no, you I'm. Oh, you, you want to keep going after this? It, it, yeah, if you want. I mean, we'll see where it goes. I'm we'll always just, open to that. We'll just wait. We'll it's just, just wait money, next week. man. It's just money. <laughs> like, who gets to hang out with these? Yeah, that's true. <sighs> no, I, I would say, uh, I would say, if, if the thing is, is oh, we could. I mean, I yeah, if, if we if well. Probably not today because I I told Mary that after I would do this I would go for a run. But um, oh, yeah, yeah just just week after week we could just run it week after week until we get you to where you want to go. I'm absolutely yeah, I'm down because you're getting you are getting better. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't lie to you. Like this is well, definitely. Well, that's why I picked it because you're a straight shooter. I appreciate that. Yeah, this would be right here. Uh, let me back up. All right, let's see what you do with Trin here. So you've got this guy kind of. Under the tower. Remember what I said about these like cannon waves? You do look like you're, you're pretty shoving. You're shoved up, so. Yeah, this I don't like though. I want it under. I want it either under or slower pushed. Oh, at what point do you consider it under? Because I see the laser hitting it and I'm going, okay, that's under. I want it cleanly under. I'll show you. Um, like that space. So you see all these autos you're throwing out here? Watch. One is fine. Two, not fine. You've already fucked up. He's not autoed at all, okay? Remember that when we're in this position, this is a little different, okay? Because we're doing a different champion. So I want to make sure that you sure. understand, like, the differences here. With Trindamir, it's like this. This area is really good for us. This area is okay for us. This area is bad for us as Trindamir, okay? It's the same thing as the Yorick, right? The same concept. You want a longer lane. The thing is, though, Trinomir's tempo is a little faster than Yorick. So what that means is, while you're here, you could still build up a decently sized wave. Yorick can't do anything to you. He didn't go Comet, which you know. If he didn't go Comet, he's not going to be able to poke you for shit. Right? Mm -hmm. You know this. So now, yep. what you should do is, every, every time he hits a minion, you should be threatening to auto-E. That's your bread and butter move. Okay? Try to auto-E without hitting the minions and jump into, like, either a brush or to the side or whatever. When you're autoing like this, though, arbitrarily, you're moving the wave forward faster. I want a three-wave crash, just like with you when you're building waves as Yorick. I want a three-wave okay. crash, right? So okay. that right there, that E is okay. I don't mind it. But I would prefer instead we just last hit. Because okay. you're not really killing him if he plays like a bitch anyways, right? Yeah. And you would rather just stack a giant wave so you could get either back timing, or you could go into the enemy jungle, or you could go in ward, or you could do whatever. So here, you're doing your thing, but you keep autoing randomly, and that's killing this push. So when okay. I say I want a clean push under, watch where the wave gets stuck. See how the cannon wave can't really come off a tower? It's kind of like mm -hmm. here already. That's because of your choice to auto here and spin and auto and all the shit that you did. The cannon wave would be able to come out further. And then as the cannon wave arrives, just like I showed you in the VOD, you want to immediately just start pounding the wave, like just auto the minions the whole time. Auto, 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 as fast as you can. But see how you can't get to these range creeps safely? Yeah. That's because of these autos back here. Gotcha. The reason I want it under cleanly is because there's stuff you can do. We could dive, we yeah. could auto E auto, harass the guy yeah. under tower. Have you ever done that under tower? Yep. Yeah, so you gave me that last time. You gotta click close to him and then auto right. E. Right, so yeah. here, if you get it under, when I'm saying cleanly under, you're like, yeah, the laser's targeting it. It is, but it's not under. So it's not really bouncing the way that you want. It's actually a freeze. Mm. See, that's under. These are not under. So that wave mm. will not come back out. If okay. it's under, the cannon would be here. Yep. That's because you didn't you didn't stack and crash it, right? You okay. sort of like half shoved it, which isn't a stack, right? You like partially shoved it. 
and then you didn't really crash it because you can't auto it safely because you're like, shit, I'm going to get hit by the tower. Right, so I can't just mindlessly auto this and get it under. And another good tip is even if your health gets super low while crashing it and your health gets to here, as long as he doesn't kill you, it doesn't matter because you could just spin away and reset anyways and get it back. Like get a long sword, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Right? Damn. You don't play golf, do you? Uh-uh. Why? This is like just like there's so much minutia. I'm shocked how much how small little decisions like that have such a big impact on the yeah, game. Like yeah, yeah. Golf. Like, golf, golf and this game are like mirrors of your decisions. Yeah, you know this I mean? it, 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 league is an awesome game because it's got it's got all these like details, and then it's got the poker thing of like, oh my god, I'm losing. Like, is it my fault? Whose fault is it? Right? Like, you get the yeah. idiots that you, they're just like fish, right? And and <laughs> yeah. you you just got so many good things going on. Yeah, but it is that okay. simple. Do you have a stop command? Okay. I told you to add one, I think. S. You mean S to stop? I use the side mouse button. Oh, I use S. Do you I actually use it ring. in game? Ring. Oh, all the time. Then that then those the autos then those autos because what players will do is well there's two options technically. I auto S, auto S, auto S, you know. You could turn this off. Or you could use stop command. I like a stop command because I'm doing everything deliberately. It's just my, I'm I, I'm a control freak. So yep. like I yep. need to control it. <laughs> right. So yeah. I'm the, well the, said, OCD. Yeah. Right. So if you, if, if you're autoing randomly because you're mechanically fucking it up or you're choosing to auto, those are two different problems. So as long as you know which one's which. So the wave kind of gets stuck. And see, now it's not clean. Look, we're missing XP. See this? And he does push out. You do kind of a weird... <laughs> you know, oh, I, I think I had to, like... Yeah. My <laughs> wife came in and, like, wanted my attention, so I just... And then you AFK'd kill... Him. You AFK, then kill the guy. That's a classic, yeah. uh... <laughs> the classic <laughs> meme. So here's another one. I will well, push that, this... that proved your point. That was your little color bar, right? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. The green, yellow, red. Yeah, That's, you do it exactly. It's kind of proven. Like you could be a moron, get the wave back here, and if you go all well, in, I am. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all are when I, we start this fucking game. I don't, I don't profess to be smart. Right. When we start this game, we could all be morons. I mean, dude, trust me. I played for oh, years man. before this. I played for years before I even knew what was happening with this. Uh, you, like, oh, I bet. It's just brutal. Yeah, you said in an earlier thing, like, there's no manual to how to play this game. No. Right? I mean, it's, no, you, dude, it's we like, were all stupid back then. Like, all the high elo players, we were, dude, people, and champions are like way more broken than they were, you know? Like, there was just like weird shit going on back then, and no one knew. There's obviously a handful of people that could probably explain this to you, maybe, but we didn't know who the fuck actually knew what was going on. Sure. Right? I mean, mathematicians. Some, but some genius had to figure out the game itself, but nobody knew. I it. I say uh -huh. Dopa is my guy. Was the was the guy on uh, the Korean ladder that I learned how to make high elo through. Let's get a game in. Actually, it's getting too late. <laughs>